Hello, good morning, welcome. I can still say good morning, right? Since it's 11.30, it's still morning time. It always feels so funny to say that, but anyway, that's what I like to say, because I I went and worked out, and I come home and take a shower, and then like this is like my first real like thing that I'm doing today, so even though half the day is gone already, but that's all right. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me today. It's Good Friday, which wow, actually, yeah, this is kind of, yeah, this might be a difficult time for a lot of people. I know a lot of people are maybe at um, Good Friday Masses. Well, hi, Marianne. How are you? First time on time. Yes. Yay. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you could join us. Um, and I'm just so glad to have you a part of our group, too. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Um, well, let's see. I'm just going to kind of, I always like to kind of just share a little bit of what's been going on lately so that people can kind of get on and then we'll uh, jump in and get started because I've got lots. I've got so much to share with you all today. So let's see. Um, oh, well, can you guys see? Where's my, here's my, I got to. Uh, show off my Michigan M go blue there. So anyway, I'm sure you guys know this, right? That U of M University of Michigan is in the final four tomorrow night. I think they play at maybe like six o'clock. University of Chicago Loyola. Um, that should be a good game. I'm excited for it. And then who knows, maybe if they win that one, then they'll be heading to the final um, game on Monday night. So yay, go blue. I'm just so excited for them. I'm like, this has been so much fun to watch. I love basketball and good basketball is awesome, right? So let's see what else. Oh, this week has been spring break for my kids, um, for their schools. We um, did not really, we didn't get out of town. I had kind of hoped to be able to and then um, just didn't work out this year. So that's okay though, because we've been, let's see, we found like, there's something called District 5 down in Lansing. It's like a jump zone kind of a thing. So we did that one day and we did some shopping. We've gone out for dinner and watched movies, stayed up late doing that. Um, that's not something obviously that we're normally able to do in the middle of the week. And then the funniest thing, um, my son, what happened? Oh, I know. I was watching one of, do you guys watch that show, the program? It's called This Is Us. So I think he watched like the very last episode of, of like this season with me, whenever that was, a few weeks ago. And he kind of thought it was cool. So we ended up like on the DVR or whatever. We, we taped like all of season one and all of season two. So now we're like kind of catching him up. Um, starting back at the beginning and he's really enjoying those shows and it's kind of fun for me because now I've watched all of season one and season two and kind of to go back and kind of put some pieces together um, you know kind of with what we've learned in season two and season one so anyway I just love that show um, it really makes me think about you know as a parent raising your kids and you know they they show a lot of that how um, you know what happens when you're younger how that forms how you are when you're older and so it always has my wheels turning and, you know, trying to make sure I'm doing a good job for my kids. So hi, Joyce. Yay. I'm so glad you can join us. Welcome, welcome. Um, let's see what else is going on. I'm going to check. I got my whole list of notes as usual. Um, oh, well, and happy Easter weekend, too. Um, Easter's on Sunday, obviously. So I just want to make sure to say happy Easter to everybody and hope you have a great Easter weekend with friends and family. Um, I think we can jump right in. We are going to do the drawing. I'm going to show you, actually, maybe I'll show you these real quick. So the in colors um, that are retiring, I've mentioned this a couple of times, and I've, I feel like I've done a really good job because I've had quite a few people ordering already because they don't want to miss out. So just one more quick mention of the five in colors that are retiring. These will be on the retiring list in April. So it's not next week, I don't know, in the next couple of weeks that retiring list will come out and these will, um, you know, they'll, they generally sell out really quickly. So again, once more time, one more time to review. This is Dapper Denim, Sweet Sugar Plum, Emerald Envy, Peekaboo Peach, no, this is Flirty Flamingo and this one is Peekaboo Peach. So make sure you order all your ink color product, your cardstock, your ink pads, your ink refills, your markers, your pens, your embellishments, your ribbon. Get that like now. Actually, what I've been really telling people is if you need to stock up on any of this, do it now because you can still get a free celebration item for the next couple of days, so through Saturday, okay? Um, so kind of in conjunction with that, we have the, I love, this is like the two yard 
sampler of the in color striped i think it's like a mini striped ribbon that comes in all five of those in colors so this is one of those items can you guys see i wonder if i can fan them out on my hand so those are the five different colors so this ribbon has been so fun i think it's like perfect oh my gosh it's like perfect easter colors too oh that makes me wish i had made a cute like easter treat with these ribbons well i guess there's still time right so anyway um this is another thing you know stock up on this ribbon if you love this get it because next month it'll it'll sell out i'm just sure um but we are going to do the drawing for that it's two yards of each of those five colors uh, in color ribbon okay so you got an entry in the drawing as usual one entry if you commented on the facebook live video and then another entry if you shared the Facebook Live video. Now, I did put kind of a caveat to that. You couldn't just click share. You had to share it and then kind of say something about the video that might pique somebody's interest. You know, the idea is I want you guys to share it and catch other people's attention with it too. So you got to say something about the video to get them to think, hey, maybe I should take a peek at that. Okay, so same thing will apply for this week. You're going to get one entry into the drawing if you comment as many times as you comment. That's how many entries you have in the drawing and then three entries in the drawing if you share the video, but you have to make sure to say something about the video. Can't just click share. Okay, so I have so many. Oh my gosh, I got to shake these around really well. I had so, we had so many comments and shares. It was awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna draw. Get one. Hi, Joyce. Happy Easter. Yes, Happy Easter to you too. Okay, I've got one ticket. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh! I feel like Nancy just won. But look at this. Can you guys see? I'm always trying to make sure. So Nancy Gulick wins the ribbon sampler pack. Okay. So let me. I gotta put that over there so I don't lose it. Okay. Well, not lose it. I mean, I can always watch back on the video if I forget who won, right? But so congratulations to Nancy Gulick. She is in my downline. Um, so that's awesome. She can use that ribbon in the next couple of weeks to show everybody um, those awesome ink colors that are retiring. So congratulations, Nancy. Okay, so this week, if you comment and share the video, again, one entry for commenting, three entries for sharing with a comment, you are gonna get your name in the drawing to win. These are my favorite and I really hope I don't know, would they carry over? These are the 2D fruity, can you see them? There's always a glare, and the adhesive backed sequins. So they come in, I think this color on top, well, it's like lemon lime twist, so kind of like a neon green. And then there's kind of like a really bright yellow, kind of a pale blue and a bright pink. I think that's it, five of them. Anyway, they're awesome because they've got the glue dots on the back of them. So there's like a little clear sheet on there. So you just peel them off the sheet and pop them on your project. So you don't have to worry about like putting adhesive down and then trying to pick up the sequin and put it on. So these are awesome. I've been using these a ton. And actually I think, yeah, we're gonna use them in some of the stamping we do today. So your name goes in the drawing to win the 2D Fruity Adhesive Backed Sequins if you comment and share on this week's video. And Tammy, good morning. Thank you for joining us, welcome. Okay, so what is next? Let me see. Um. Is that everything? I feel like I've gone through it really quickly already, but that's good. Okay, so um, I want to do a quick shout out. There are only two, right? Because today's the 30th. Yeah, there are only two days left. Yeah, you love the stick on sequins. I know, me too, Marianne. Um, and happy Friday to you, Tammy, as well. And everybody, I love, Fridays are awesome, right? It's just like a great, I think it's my favorite day of the week. Um, you know, just kind of a great gateway to the weekend and kind of a relief a little bit that you made it through another week, right? Um, okay, so so um, what I was starting to say was for, we've been doing this Facebook project posting contest all month long and we've got just two days left. So just make sure if you have any, I'm like, we'd love to see Easter projects right now that it's Easter weekend or anything, whatever you guys have made, it just has to include um, either a sale, like a 2018 celebration product or a 2018 occasions catalog product. Post that on this Facebook group right here on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. And I announced it the other day, I don't know if you saw it, but your name is gonna go in the drawing. I got this awesome prize. This is the Petal 
palette stamp set. So it is an awesome, it does tell me, it's a 15 piece stamp set. Can you guys, we've done some stamping with it. I'm gonna show you all of them because the flowers and the birds are beautiful. And this, I don't know if it's gonna carry over or not. It didn't, I don't believe they put it on. They gave us kind of a, a real short, well, an abbreviated, very abbreviated list of items from occasions and celebrations catalogs that are going to carry over mainly because actually this weekend and i'm not there but a lot of people are going to um like on stage local events kind of all across the united states because i think on stage live i'm not even sure maybe it's in australia anyway it's not like in the u.s so it wasn't anywhere that i was going to get to so when they do those either in europe or in the south pacific they do what they call on stage local events so like a one day event, um, a convention, like a mini convention. Um, but when they do that, you know, a lot of people want to make swap cards and bring them to that event. So they gave us this kind of abbreviated list of items that are going to carry over because then you know, okay, if I make a project um, using any of those items that they're going to carry over to the next annual catalog. Um, and, you know, a lot of people in terms of demonstrators and businesses, they only want to show current catalog stuff. So that's why they gave us that list. But I don't think that this Petal Palette stamp set, I don't think it was on there. I don't remember that it be that it was on there. So maybe it is. I don't know. We'll, we'll see in another couple weeks. We'll know. But this is the rest of these are a bunch of sentiments. I, got, I want you guys to see. And of course, they're backwards, but you can probably get the idea right or you can look it up online or in your catalogs but so like I said if you post so you just have to you guys know how to do this right like um, the easiest way is to just take a picture of a project you've made with either 2018 celebration or occasions catalog product take a picture with your phone and then usually there's like a like an arrow at least that's on my phone there's like an arrow button and then I can click to share that on Facebook. Now the big thing is, like normally, if you're on Facebook, it automatically wants to post to your personal page, so it tries to post to my Amy Ferlici page. And there's like a, there's an arrow, or a, there's some kind of a button that you can push that then you can say you wanna post it to a group, and then if you just start typing in, like G-A-T-H, well, I don't know how much you're gonna to have to put in, uh, but anyway, stamp, or, um, Facebook will find it, and then just click on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group, and then you can post your picture there. So do that and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win this awesome stamp set. I told you guys I was gonna come up with something big and we did, so the sharing has kind of died down a little bit and I'm hoping these last couple of days that we can get a bunch more sharing in, um, you know, so that somebody can win and, you know, or the people that already shared are gonna have a really good chance at winning the stamp set. So we'll keep you posted on that, okay? Um, oh, why don't I show you, these are a bunch of really, really cute projects. So if you win that Petal Palette stamp set, some of these, this is actually, it's gonna be backwards, but I think it's okay, right? Um, so this is a card that we made at our Inkspired Stampers, um, our group gathering earlier this month. And then actually this is another one as well. And most of these were cased. These are my cards now, so I don't have like the original creators um, names on them. This one you may have seen because I, I'm pretty sure that I did this on Facebook Live a couple of weeks ago. I loved this card so much and the stamp set so much that I had to show it um, to everybody at our group gathering in, um, earlier this month. And then this is a card that um, my friend um, Melissa Roberts, so that weekend retreat that I went to a couple of weekends ago, this was one of the make and takes that she provided that weekend. Um, and I loved it, so I was like, okay, I gotta bring it back home and show everybody. Um, and so this one uses the Stampin' Blends markers. Can you see on the purple flowers and the green leaves, all of that? Can you see kind of all of that shading and dimension? Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm trying to hold real still, because what I found is when I like wiggle all over the place, it gets blurry. So, but beautiful, beautiful. And then here's another, this is a swap. I think I showed you guys, but probably, you probably don't even remember, because it's been a long time. Elaine Shader, it says, is the name of the gal that made this one. And then here's another uh, swap by Kay Cogbill. So this is another card. All of these beautiful. So this has been super popular. Um, and this, I think I said this before, but this is always the time of year in terms of catalogs where I kind of start panicking because time's running out to play with all this awesome stuff. So, you know, 
because in my world, like I don't, I won't use retired stuff because if I show it to you guys and you fall in love with it, you can't get it and then that gets people mad at me and I don't want people mad at me. So um, that's why I panic because oh my gosh, it's going to not, if it doesn't carry over and I haven't played with it enough or showed enough, but anyway, that's my own problem. So, you know, as a hobbyist or just someone that loves the product, you can get it and use it as long as you want. So that's awesome. Um, all right. What else do I want to tell you guys about? I have to get a quick sip of water too, so hold on one sec. Hmm. And I'm checking my notes to see. Oh, okay, so I wanna give a couple of shouts out to my downline. Okay, oops, somebody just texted me. I gotta swipe that up. Okay, there we go. So people, um, people that are in, in my downline in our Inkspired Stampers group, okay, couple of quick shouts out because this is like the end of celebration people are always doing awesome like amazing stuff trying to get that one last push before celebration ends so let's see paulette is a member of my downline and she just reached uh this well it's not really a milestone but for the month of march she got into the 600 hundred dollar club and what i do so anybody that's in my downline when you get to 600 hundred dollars in sales in a month then you get um a, like a present a prize an embellishment from me for reaching the 600 hundred dollar club for the month because what happens is when you have 600 hundred dollars in sales in a month then you start earning additional income So normally you get 20% off of your orders or you earn 20% income on your orders. Um, and then when you get to $600 in sales, then you start earning additional, they call it volume rebate. Anyway, it's basically additional commission. So that's something that I always love for the girls to strive for because then they can earn more money on what they sell and then they get free stuff from me too. So congratulations. Paulette's kind of rejuvenating her business right about now. So I was really excited to see that she was able to do that because she used to do it pretty regularly and she's kind of had to take a step back. So she's getting back into the swing of things. So congratulations. Congratulations, Paulette. And then also as well, I had um, Sunday Ostrander and Karen Birch are also in the $600 club for this month. So they're all going to get some fun prize from me at our group gathering next month in April. And we have one of my new downline members that just joined. Hi, Bonnie. Good morning. Um, one of my new downline members that just joined during the celebration, I think back in January, Mary is her name. She has already reached her $300 quarterly minimum, which is awesome. So go Mary. Because I think, I meant to look at my reports before I jumped on. I know she reached that and I feel like she actually is more like $500 in sales already. So just for a couple of months. Um, and so she's going to get awesome demonstrator rewards because um, it's celebration too. So she is like really on a great roll. Um, and then I also wanted to mention, because I didn't realize, I knew we had been adding new downline members, but we have added 18 new, new downline members to our Inkspired Stampers group during celebration. So people that have bought the starter kit January, February, March, 18 people. Now, not everybody's obviously bought the kit through me, but people that are in my group, in our downline, they've bought them through them and then even through those people. So it is just awesome. I'm like so excited to have so many new members. Um, it just kind of, you know, we all love, we all really have kind of gotten to know each other. And so we love to have new people come in and get to know them too. So um, we have another Inkspired Stampers Facebook group that is just for my downline that we have really kind of been connecting a lot on there. So that's been a lot of fun. And then I hope for even more connecting to happen here on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group as well. Because customers, demonstrators, downline, you know, whoever, however, we're all one big happy family. And I love for everybody to really feel a part of things and get to know each other. So hopefully we can continue to do more and more of that. So post anything that you have that you want to talk about that you have going on post it on this Facebook group because you're going to touch other people and kind of pique their interest and kind of get some engagement and just some good conversations going with others and I love to see that too um, okay so oh let me I have a couple of names I want to mention because I think I've welcomed other people as they have joined but I'm going to mention these names so welcome to our inspired stampers group we have Linda and Sandra and Susan and Liz, and another Sandra, and Jerry. So welcome to our group. 
Ladies, thank you. I'm just so happy to have you here. Um, I am going to give one last quick, because I know we have, right, today's Friday, Friday and Saturday, the 30th and 31st. We have two more days of celebration. I cannot believe it's ending. I mean, I feel like, you know what, well, I guess way back in, in December, we started playing with new celebration and occasions catalog stuff, kind of getting ourselves ramped up for celebration, and it's just hard to believe that it's almost done already. Um, but just in case you've been thinking about that starter kit, you still have two days left to get the starter kit. Um, probably the easiest way if you're interested, you can always call, text, email me, and I can help you um, get your starter kit set up. Or if you go online, probably the, I was starting to say that, the easiest way is just go to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and there's a link on there to join um, the group. And if you're not sure, like I said, just get in touch with me and I can help you even show you where that link is. But it's right on there, it's very simple. Um, but don't forget, so, because it, you, this deal goes away. People, it's always a great deal because you always get to pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax, no shipping fee. But during celebration, you get to pick two free stamp sets. And I'm telling everyone, get the most expensive stamp sets that you love with that starter kit because it's just, it's an amazing deal. Okay, so two days left to do that. Um, we would love to have more than even 18 of us join the Inspired Stampers group because, oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm, I can't stop saying that because I'm just so excited. We have so many new friends here in our downline. Um, okay, so let's, well, it's kind of not really a drawing. Um, I don't know, what do I want to say about this? Well, so last week for um, putting in an online order and using the host code, your name went in the drawing to get the Myths and Magic Glimmer paper there. Can you guys see that? So I'm telling you guys, the odds are still really good. Um, I only had one person put in an online order last week. So, Tammy Mitchell, you win the Myths and Magic Glimmer paper. So I will get that sent out to you. Um, I'll probably send it with your to-go class kit, um, just in case you're wondering. So congratulations, Tammy. I'm so excited that you won that Glimmer paper. It is awesome. I love that paper. Okay, um, check in my notes. Let's see. Oh, you guys want to know what we're going to do this week? So for putting in an online order of at least 30, you're welcome, Tammy, um, putting in an online order of at least $30 and using the host code, we have a new host code because this is what kind of one of those weird times when March ends, obviously, tomorrow and then April begins. So I'm going to use a new host code. If you use the old one, it's all right, but I'm going to give you a new one that we're going to use for the whole month of April and including like today and tomorrow. So either way, whatever host code you use, it'll be fine, but um, we'll still to start trying to use thing start trying to use the new host code okay so i'll give you that um when i move the camera down but so online order use the host code your name is going to go into the drawing to win what could it be okay i'm going to show you because oh we ha i had such great response last week to the projects that i made with the sweet soiree memories and more Kit, can you guys see all the cute? So they call it memories and more because the idea is this is part of that photo pocket page memory keeping, like the simple, you know, you slip. Actually, this is, I loved this one probably the most. I think I showed you guys that last week. The collect, collect moments, not things. So those pockets, like this could slip into a pocket and then maybe, um, this one could slip into, this says one perfect day, this could slip into another pocket and you could do journaling on these. And then you put your pictures in the other pockets. So you end up with this full page that the pictures and these cards are slipped into. So that's kind of one of the uses. But then the other use was making those cute cards. So do you guys remember? I showed you guys these last week. So one person is gonna be able to make these cards with her new sweet soiree memories and more card kit and um, if you're like worried that you're not going to win it so you could put your online order well how would that work well maybe you could end up with two if you put your online order and spend at least fifty dollars you can for sure this is what it comes it comes like this you could for sure get 
the sweet soiree memories and more kit and then your name could go in the drawing to get it again maybe you give it to a friend or you make even more cards or you use one for memory keeping and one for card making whatever anyway so your name is going to go in the drawing if you put in an online order and use the host code between now and next wednesday at midnight and what the heck would that be i think it's the third because i think monday's the first so i think by Wednesday, April 3rd at midnight, if you put in an online order in and use the host code, your name's gonna go in the drawing to win these awesome cards. The card kit, I guess I should say. And then you can make cute cards with your card kit, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. All right, let me move that guy out of the way. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, okay. So I mentioned that too. Um, that celebration so we just have the two more days of celebration the other thing because there are so many offerings like we started with this celebration brochure then back in February we added more products that were in this brochure and then maybe like a couple weeks ago we added and this one's not very pretty but we added a kind of another slew of celebration products so what I've been telling everybody lately is just to make sure you've gotten everything that you wanted during celebration, just go to stampinup.com and then click shop and then kind of, this is, is it backwards? I don't know. On the left hand side, there's like a list of categories and celebration is one of the ones that's right up at the top. Just click on that and then you'll get the whole page with everything. There's one page that has all the $50 items and another page that has all the $100 items. So just maybe take a quick peek and make sure you've gotten everything that you wanted out of celebration because you just have today and tomorrow to put those online orders in. Plus your name's gonna go in the drawing to win that sweet soiree, memories and more card kit. And you'll also get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate later today in the video too. So two days left, oh my gosh, it's really hard to believe. So treat yourself one last time before March ends tomorrow. So you have until midnight tomorrow night, which is I think really like two o'clock in the morning here because it's midnight Salt Lake City time, okay? So you still got some time to do that one last shopping trip, okay? Um, all right, I think we are ready to move the camera. I'm gonna have the host code right down here. Okay, so turn your eyes away for a quick sec. I'm gonna move the camera <clears throat> so you guys can see what's going on here. Oops, and I always hit that volume button. Sorry, because then I have to click it back up. And move this. Okay. Oh, all right, we've got our... That looks crooked. If I do that, does that look better? Okay. Hmm. It's weird how every week it looks a little bit different. Okay, so this is the new host code. Remember, if you put in the online order of at least $30 by next Wednesday at midnight, you're going to get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate in just a little bit, and your name is entered into the drawing to win the Sweet Soiree Memories and More card kit. You just need to use, this is the new host code. Hi, Miss Beth Martin, how are you? Okay, so it's new, like N-E-W, 9-D-N-V-M. And this is also always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So if you ever can't find this host code, just go to gatheringinspiration.com and you can even copy and paste that host code right into um, your shopping bag on the Stampin' Up! website. And then don't forget, if you bump your order up to $50 for the next two days, um, well, for the next two days, you're going to get a celebration choice. And then I always, so even after celebration is done, I always send you a free embellishment with at least a $50 online order when you use that host code. Okay? So I need more water too. Hold on. <coughs> okay, sorry. I need a mint. I've decided. Let me get this real quick. <coughs> My throat's getting dry. Maybe this summer when we have some humidity. It won't be too bad, but for now, okay. So I've got a little mint there to take that dry away from my throat. Okay, um, so here, I know what I want to show you guys. So real quick, I get the calendar out. So there's not really too much left that's happening during March other than 
the last two days of celebration. I've said that 14 million times now, so I think everybody is clear on that. We have two more days. What you also should know is that you have two more days to qualify for the celebration celebration event. Now this is a live party basically down at the stamp studio here in Alma that you can qualify for. If you host a celebration private party or class, now that's probably not going to happen at this point because we only have two days left, but <coughs> if you buy the starter kit, you automatically get a, a spot, you earn your spot at the celebration celebration or if you spend at least $150 during celebration, which again, you have those two more days if you're not quite to $150. I have emailed people to let them know where they're at. If you have not gotten an email from me and you're curious to know if you're close, just email me or send me a message or comment right here on the Facebook video and I can let you know if you're close. So we are gonna do a party on Saturday, April 28th. If you qualify and you can't attend, I will send you the make and takes and gifts that are given that day, okay? So don't make that a reason, you know, if you're close, you might as well bump up your order to get you to the $150, or if you're thinking about the starter kit, um, even if you can't come, we'll make sure you get all the goodies. Um, but we are gonna have snacks and treats and specials. I'm gonna have my buy one, get one free sale going on. Hopefully we'll be able to do sneak peeks of new annual catalog product. We're gonna do stamping and make and takes and gifts, and games, prizes. It's just an awesome free event where I say thank you so much for your business during celebration, okay? So know that, two more days and let me know if you wanna know where you're at, okay? Then real quick to review for April, this is what we have going on. Oops, can we see, is that all right? We, oh I gotta, that's, I gotta flip it, sorry. It was too dark. Um, okay, so we have our Simple Beautiful Car class is on April 11th, anytime from 4 to 9, and then also on April 13th from 1 until 3. Our group gathering is on the third Tuesday of the month, which is April 17th. <clears throat> the one-day retreat is on um, Saturday, April 21st. Our memory keeping and scrapbook class is on the last Tuesday of the month, anytime from 4 until 9. So that's April 21st, 24, excuse me. And then we have the celebration celebration event that is on Saturday, April 28th. I will tell you too, I am working on the next class to go kit that I will have put together next week. And then I think generally RSVPs are due on the 20th so that I can get everything shipped out to you by the very beginning of May. Next week, the um, Myths and Magic Class to Go kits will be shipping out by April 4th too. I don't have that on here yet, um, but that's how that goes. Okay, so if you want more details on any of these classes and events down at the Stamp Studio or the Class to Go, just check out my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and you can get more details there, okay? <clears throat> All right. Moving right along. Um, 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 um. Oh, okay, one more class. Oh, shoot. I forgot to mention that, but in conjunction with... I'm going to bring the calendar back out. I don't have that on here. But in conjunction with the... I'm going to write it in right now. With the one-day retreat on Saturday, April 21, is the Stampin' Blends class. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys the projects that we're going to make at that class. So that the one day retreat for, runs from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. This class, you can come anytime from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'll have that out the whole, basically for, you know, that good part of the day. Um, just not at the very beginning because I need to have time to get everybody situated and kind of set up and everything at the very beginning of the day. So hi, Wendy. Good morning. How are you? Um, so yeah, Stampin' Blends class. Let me tell you about that. So that is on Saturday, April 21st. We are going to make four projects. I'm going to scoot this out of the way for a sec. <clears throat> so these are the four projects that we will make. Can you guys see those? Let me scoot this out of the way too. Okay. And the, this class features, this is the Color Me Happy stamp set. I want to make sure you guys can see that. 
because it is not in any of our catalogs. Oh, happy Easter to you too, Wendy, thank you. Um, there was a Stampin' Blends brochure that came out that included this stamp set, super duper cute stamp set, great for coloring with our Stampin' Blends markers, okay? So these are the four projects that we will make at class. There's this really cool kind of fold to the card there also. You will also get, and this is the one kind of, so you guys may or may not have heard, um, but the Stampin' Blends have been so popular that they have gone on like crazy back order. So Stampin' Up actually took them kind of out of our offering for the moment. So I can't technically order them. I actually have kind of a stockpile of these Stampin' Blends markers. So I think I'm gonna be able to make it work for the class. Um, so the, that's the reason why I'm telling you this is because the class includes the color lifter marker and then the old, not old olive, but the um, Daffodil Delight light and dark Stampin' Blend and then the Rich Razzleberry light and dark Stampin' Blend, okay? Now I will say I've got a few of each of these. I do not, I know I don't have any extra of the color lifter. So we can either, um, <clears throat> I can get this for you as soon as it's, as it's available, or if you just wanna get another one of the blends markers, either light or dark and whatever color, we can do that too, okay? And then I guess what I was starting to say is, depending on how many people I have signed up for this, not everybody would be able to get the Rich Razzleberry and Daffodil Delight, but I have a whole slew of other colors. So if you don't want these, um, or if I run out of these, we'll find some other colors for you. So you'll be able to get two sets, light and dark, and then either the color lifter when it comes in, or we'll get you another color, and then you can get the color lifter when it's not on back order any longer, okay? I know Wendy's saying she's disappointed about the blends. <laughs> now you have to wait. Well, if you do this class, you could get a couple sets of them, and then I'll show you how to use them too. Um, like here's a, can you guys see this, this flower? This is kind of a good example. Let me get it right in there. Do you see kind of the shading, the light and dark, and then in the very center, I use that color lifter to really kind of brighten it up, lighten, lighten and brighten it up. So I will show you exactly how to make all of these and how to get kind of that light and dark shading um, in that class. So the class fee is $30. And again, you get two sets of the blends markers and the color lifter, and then you're gonna make four cards, okay? Or if you would like the Color Me Happy stamp set, the class fee for basically all of this is $48 in order to include the stamp set too. And again, that class is on Saturday, April 21, anytime from 4, I'm sorry, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I've been emailing and posting on Facebook about that, but let me know if you have any questions or you're interested in coming to class that day. Now I will, I gotta make sure that everybody knows that. If you sign up for that class, it's not at the stamp studio. It's going to be over at St. Mary's School here in Alma because that's where I'll be for the one-day retreat. And then the class will obviously be set up there as well. Okay? So I don't want you to go to the wrong place. <laughs> okay. All right. So awesome Stampin' Blends class. Let me know if you're interested. I'll bring that guy back out just so you can see. <laughs> I'm like all crooked, I feel like. I can't, um, can't quite get it straight, I guess. I don't know. Who knows what's going on? Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. We are ready to do our stamping. Yay. I promised you guys lots of stamping. So I think we have a lot of stamping to do here today. Okay. Let me get my grid paper out. Actually, maybe I'll move that back. <clears throat> okay. Let's get this set up. We've got that glare. Okay, here we go. Table's going for a ride because you know I can't stand that glare. Is that going to be enough? I think it will. Okay. All right. We're not too crooked now, right? Okay, so which card do I want to show you first? Let's do this one because I love the folds on this card. Oh my gosh, isn't this so cute? So do you see it opens here and then it opens here and then you can write your sentiment on this part. 
but it's got the awesome. So all of these projects are gonna feature the 2D Fruity Designer Series paper. This is some of the Lemon Lime Twist striped ribbon, and then there are those awesome 2D Fruity adhesive back sequins. Now don't forget, for every single comment, even right now when you're commenting, your name's gonna go in the drawing to win those 2D Fruity adhesive back sequins. And then if you share the video, you will get three entries in the drawing, okay? Um, okay, so let's make this card. I have some notes here too, so I'm gonna tell you the dimensions on everything, okay? Let me get my stuff out here so we can do our stamping and make this card. And I don't think, we, we don't need the big shot here, which is good, okay? So I don't, because I, I usually get everything out and then I have to move everything away <laughs> when, when, we, um, when we need to use the big shot. Okay, so I think I've got myself organized. All right, here we go, ladies. So to make this card, because this one's a little bit different in terms of the folds, um, the scoring and things. Okay, why does this seem, I'm sorry, this is going to drive me crazy. It's not, okay. I feel like it's crooked, but I guess it's not. I don't know. It's, it always looks so different when I watch it back later. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm gonna try not to let that bother me. Okay, so the card base is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Can you see? That's our card base right there. And it measures, and you guys can see this, right? I'm sitting down and then I have to stand up. And I hurt my knee the other day at workout class, so it's not very easy to stand up after I'm sitting down. Hi, Nikki. Good morning. How are you? Okay, I have to tell you because I'm just so excited. I finally got your um, your ribbon mailed out to you. So it's on its way, okay? So thank you for your patience on that. Um, okay, so this piece of cardstock <laughs> measures, oh yeah, and a fun fold too. Yes, that's right, Marianne. Okay, so we this measures four and a quarter by eight and one quarter. And then I scored it, and you can't even probably see it, but I scored it at two and three quarter inches, okay? Can you maybe kind of see? We'll fold it there, okay? So that's your card base, right? That's our first step is that piece right there, okay? Then I have a piece of real red cardstock that measures three inches by eight and a half inches, and it's scored right in half at four and a quarter inches, okay? So that is gonna go like that, all right? So that's going to go inside there. That's kind of the idea, right, of how these are going to go. Then we're going to put our designer series paper right there. And that piece, super cute. I love the strawberries and blueberries. And then this is kind of, this is like a knight of navy, like a little black, well, not black and white, but it, to me, at first I thought it was black, but it's knight of navy and white kind of speckled print on the other side, okay? This piece of designer series paper measures two and a half by four. So that fits perfectly on there, okay? And then we have a couple of pieces of Whisper White cardstock, same size, that measure um, two and three quarters by four inches. Because we've got two of them, because one piece goes in there to write your sentiment, and then the other one we're gonna do our stamping on right there, okay? Then the last piece is another piece of the 2D Fruity Designer Series paper. Ooh, I love, oh my gosh, there's something about the watermelon. The, and I kind of, this is, to me it almost seems a little bit more like, um, now I'm drawing a blank on the color name. Come on, I've got it, but I don't. Cause they, I think say it's Bermuda Bay, but I don't know, I feel like a little, not Tranquil Tide, God darn it, Island Indigo. I feel like it's a little more like Island Indigo to me, but I just, I love, there's something about that print that I just love. Okay, but we're using the other side on this one. So this one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? So I think we can go ahead, we're gonna do our stamping, we're gonna really hope, I have like three chances to get this stamping right. Yeah, because I could always, this one that goes on the inside here, if I, I could turn it over <laughs> if it doesn't look good. So anyway, if that makes sense, I've got, I've got three chances. So let's see what we can do. So I've got a real red ink. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. We are using, back to one of my favorites, the Daisy Delight stamp set. So we're using the thank you and the for your kindness. And then I use that little branch 
kind of along the bottom of the for your kindness, if you can see it on there, okay? I needed to fill it in a little bit more and I thought that was kind of pretty. Okay, so that's the stamp set that we're using. So we're gonna ink up our thank you in our real red ink, okay? So the nice easy tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna, oops, I don't wanna get anything in my way. Cause this, well, especially with the camera right about where I would normally look, <laughs> makes it a little challenging for me. I love, now that is beautiful. I think, I think it was the other stuff that kind of went a little wonky on me at times. But this is Night of Navy ink, okay? And what do we have? For Your Kindness. And really, you know, I shouldn't be having any problems because these are the photopolymer clear all the way through the through stamps. Okay, let's make sure, ink that up. All right, I think that looks good. I think, wow, well, don't jinx yourself yet but I feel like it's going pretty well so far. And then we're gonna just stamp that guy. All right, I think that's good. Phew, I think I worked myself up. Maybe I was tired the other night when I did it. But okay, I think we're all right. So we're gonna get those stamps out of the way. All right, now we can go ahead and assemble our card. We're gonna let that, I don't think it's really gonna smear, but we're gonna let it dry just to make sure. So let's add, we're gonna do this, oops. Open that guy up. So we're gonna put our adhesive on the back of this piece. <clears throat> and we're gonna add this to our card. Okay. That looks good there. And then we're gonna put some adhesive on the back of this one. Isn't this paper? I, <laughs> this is one of those that I'm like, I wanna use every single pattern in this pack of paper. And somebody was like, oh, it's just fruit. Like it kinda of didn't catch their attention. But I guess if the fruit doesn't thrill you, there are so many other patterns on the other sides of them. Um, I just love it. I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just because it's bright and cheery. I'm gonna use my Fast Fuse because this one I feel like I need a little bit more kind of serious adhesive because of all the flipping and flapping that goes on. Okay, so let's see. Get this on here. I'm trying to, I'm looking at this and then I see there's another comment. Let's see, Marianne says, oh, she likes the lemon lime combined with the real red. Oh yes, I know. That's awesome, isn't it? Okay, so there's that. All right, now this piece is just our, our blank white piece. So we're gonna put this on the inside and I'm so glad I'm catching myself and not putting the other piece that we've stamped on quite yet. Oops, gotta make sure that's straight. Okay, that looks good, all right? Now, the last part of this is we need to put some ribbon and some of those tutti frutti sequins on here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys again how I make my bow, because can you see that it's not a, like a squinched up super tight bow, right? I'm gonna show you. If you guys don't remember, I'm gonna show you how to do that one. Okay, so we've got the short working end in my right hand and then the rest is over here, okay? We're gonna flip that short working end over so now it's on the left hand side and then we're gonna feed it through the little hole and I'm kind of keeping my pointer finger in there to keep that hole open, okay? Then I lay it all down on my card and keep that loop open, okay? We're gonna flip our ribbon around and then we're gonna just cut it off right about there. Now, I like to just lay my paper down so that I can feed that end that I just cut through that loop that I kept open. Okay, and then you grab that little tail that you had and you just kind of flip it around. Oh my gosh, and it makes the perfect bow every single time. I love it. Okay, so we'll get that where we want. I had it kind of right about in the middle there, okay? And then I'm gonna trim the ends Oops, it's moving on me. Okay, we got that one there. I feel like it's a little bit long there. How's that look? Okay. All right, now we can add this. Oops, I just loosened it up. So when you kind of slide that knot back and forth, there's, there's only one end. This is the end that tightens. The other one that you put the, um, the ribbon through the loop, it's not tightening anything if you pull on this one, basically. It's just gonna rip your card if you pull hard enough, okay? All right, 
<laughs> I could futz with this for a while, but I'm not gonna. Oops, okay, I think that looks good. All right, so we're gonna use some fast views again on this one because we've got our ribbon on here too, and we wanna make sure everything stays on there well, okay? Oops, that little bit out of the way. All right, so we're gonna put this guy right on here. Careful not to push down until I like it, or I've got it where I like, because that fast fuse will not forgive and move. All right, I gotta trim that just a little bit more. There, okay, now the last step. So, oh good, I can show you guys. These are the tutti fruity sequins that you could, well, this must be a hodgepodge pack, because you only get one. You only get one orange. I've used almost all. Can you see there's one pale, teeny tiny pale blue? And then this is the light yellow, the bright pink, only one bright pink. And then here, these are the green ones. Oh, Marianne, thank you that you've never seen that bow. Yeah, so you have to try, like it takes a while. I always say, I think I made like 50 cards with those bows and by the time I got to the 50th one, I, I really felt comfortable, like it took a while to kind of feel good about how I was, how to make that bow. But you get there, you just need a little practice sometimes. So just watch the video over and over again. Oops, okay, so there we go. Did you see how easy, oh, here I was talking. The glue dot is on the back there. You just peel it off and put it on your card and that is it. So isn't that so cute? I love, love, love this card, okay? So there's one with the 2D fruity. I guess I didn't even show you guys that. Maybe I'll show you that real quick, okay? The paper, because I want you guys to see, you may already know, this kind of is the time of year when everybody knows about everything, but not really, maybe not. I guess because I've been playing with everything for so long, I feel like it's been around and everybody knows everything, but it's not really always the case, is it? Okay, I'm cleaning up while I'm talking, trying to scoot things. Let me get the ribbon out of the way here. Ooh, I didn't even use dimensionals on there, which is really unusual, because I'm realizing I don't, I don't have them. You know what? I need to go grab those real quick. Thanks, Marianne. I appreciate that. Very cute, she says. One sec, because I know I'm going to need them on other projects. I'll be right back. I have to grab those dimensionals. Hold on. Okay. Here I come. All right. So let me show you guys. Here, this is the Tutti Fruity Sweet in the occasions catalog right so our 2018 occasions catalog the tutti fruity sweet oh my gosh it's just so the it is fruit it's fruity fruity tutti fruity um the cute stamp set the fruit basket stamp set with those awesome little teeny tiny punches and then this is what i focused on was this designer series paper and then we did just use those tutti fruity adhesive back sequins but can you guys see so oops sorry i kind of bumped it there can you see all the awesome work? I'm actually gonna show you projects with, I think pretty much all of that Tutti Fruity designer series paper, because I just had to play with it. Because that's gonna retire, I'm just sure of that. That's That will not stick around. Okay, so here is the next card I want to demonstrate. And I should mention actually that both of these cards, so that weekend retreat that I went to, that friend of mine, Melissa, ran a card class that featured the Tutti Fruity designer series paper. And she does such cute work. So these were a couple of cards that were in a class that she did for that weekend retreat. And of course I had to make them myself and then bring them back here to show you guys because they're, I just, I love them. I love them so much. Okay, so this card, one last ditch effort to show you the Heartfelt Bloom stamp set also. Free celebration item. This flower is so Gorgeous. Now I'm trying to remember what, what we call this. There's like a special name that Stampin' Up! has a patent pending. Oh my gosh, some kind of like photo image stamp type of thing. I don't know. I can't remember the name of it, but they're doing a lot more of this where they, this was an actual bunch, a bouquet of flowers. They took a picture of it and then they created a stamp with it. So Heartfelt Blooms free stamp set you can get during celebration with a $50 order. <coughs> okay, my throat <coughs> has had enough of me talking already. All right, <clears throat> so we've got our stamp, the flower, and then I liked the thinking of you, because I think, 
can, I don't know about you guys, but I can never have enough thinking of you stamps. Okay, so I'm gonna move that up there out of the way. And then we need our pearls. Okay, let me give you guys dimensions of all of these things here. Okay, here I am just moving everything around. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna start with our card stock that measures. So this was a full sheet of card stock, right? That measured the eight and a half by 11. We're gonna cut it in half at five and a half inches. Oops, okay. And then we score it in half at four and a quarter inches right there to make that nice crisp fold as always on our card, okay? Then, oh, on the inside, I did stamp another flower just to put in the corner there because this is too dark. You can't write in that and have anybody see, you know, what you're going to write in there. So this piece of Whisper White cardstock measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Then what do we have here? This. Oh, OK. So this I love maybe because it's my maize and blue colors, right? My, my Knight of Navy, and I think this is Daffodil Delight, but I'm thinking these are like U of M, University of Michigan colors, because I'm totally on that right now with Final Four Weekend, right? Um, okay, so who's going to be watching that game tomorrow night with me? Is anybody going to be watching? Okay, so we've got the Daffodil Delight in white stripe, and then these funny bananas on the other side. I think they're so cute. Okay, so this piece measures two inches by five and a half inches and then oh i think i i this was another one i was worried i don't think i stamped it quite right so i gave myself another sheet so this is an extra one you might not need it hopefully i won't need it either but we've got our daffodil delight cardstock that measures three and one quarter by three and three quarters and then this one is just kind of cut in a tiny bit so this is three and one eighth by three and five eighths, okay? So can you see, it's like you just see that Daffodil Delight peeking around the edges there, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's do our stamping. We've got our Knight of Navy ink pad, okay? And, oops, well, yeah, you know what? I will do this one. So we're gonna ink this up. This might get me going a little bit, right? And then I'm gonna just stamp, what part do I want? Mm, I'm gonna turn it this way. Okay, I want that, just kind of right in the corner. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, check those flowers out. They, every time I stamp that, I'm like so impressed with how awesome that stamp, how beautiful it is. Okay, and then, here we go. Okay, so this is the one. Let me make sure I've got it going the right way. So, cause can you see this? is just about as big as that stamp itself. So that, okay, I gotta ink it up one more time because now I'm worried, did I ink it really well? I gotta get it just right. And with these wooden blocks, <laughs> it does make it a little bit challenging. So we'll see, but this, I have four shots at this. So let's see how this one goes. Okay, that's not too bad. It's maybe down a little bit lower. Let's turn it over. Let's try it one more time. Okay, now I know I got it a little too low. Now I'll probably get it too high this time, but let's see what we can do. Okay, maybe if I, eh. I feel like <laughs> as I put the stamp down on it, I think it went low again. Yeah, it did. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what we got. So sometimes this happens, right? <laughs> oh, Marianne has to leave. Okay, places to be. All right, well, thanks for watching, Marianne. I, oh, I appreciate you so much. That's awesome. All right, well, have a good um Good Friday and a good Easter weekend, and we will see you hopefully next Friday. And thanks so much for watching. Okay, look, all right, finally, I did it, I did it. Okay, so that one's good. <laughs> She's not a fan of the hard, or the blocks. Yeah, I know, Wendy. There's something about, I still love the wood block in my hand every once in a while, you know, but that's all right. I mean, I used one extra piece of cardstock, and I can always cut that down and use it somewhere else, although I've smeared that, so maybe that one. Anyway, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so have we done our, I know, we have one more. We need to do our sentiment as I moved my Knight of Navy ink away. Okay, here we go. So we've got our Knight of Navy ink, and we're going to stamp our thinking of you, and this one doesn't matter. 
if I get it straight or not, because I'm just going to punch it out. So if I stamped it crooked, no big deal. And then I can just use my punch <clears throat> and make it right. Does that make sense? So if it were crooked, I just move this inside. That makes sense. I know it does. Okay. So this is, oh, is this like the pretty label punch? Pretty or curly, curly label? I don't know. It's in the annual catalog. Okay. But a cute punch I have not used too, too much lately. So I'm happy to be using it today on this card. Okay. So we're going to put some adhesive on the back of this piece. <coughs> this one, excuse me, should go together pretty easily now here. So we're going to layer our whisper white piece. As I say, that's going to go on easily. Then it's going to stick in funny places and not be even how I want it to be. Oh my goodness gracious. Sorry, ladies. I guess I don't need to be too futzy. You guys probably can't even see <laughs> if it's perfect or not, but it bugs me. It's like the anal part of me. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to put a dimensional. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a dimensional on one side and then I'm going to put some adhesive on the other and I'll explain why in just a sec on that one. Okay. Let's put this piece goes on the inside of our card. Okay, with that pretty flower, I like to do that on my envelopes too. I'll kind of stamp just in the bottom. I do, this stamp would be over here on this corner if it were an envelope. And, oops, I guess we need our awesome, I love, I don't know what it is. I just love that yellow and white striped ribbon. Like I said, it's probably because I'm a big Michigan fan. So anytime I see these pretty colors, plus, it, oh my gosh, it's just kind of summery too. And I think I'm so ready for summer. My sister actually got um, kind of a last minute fun trip to go down to Florida with she and her husband and kids that heard their daughters. So they are just getting back, I think, tonight or tomorrow, just in time so we can all watch the Michigan game together. But that was awesome. They did like a super spur of the moment trip to Florida for spring break. Sometimes those are like the best trips, right? So someday I'm going to do that too. <laughs> okay. So I put my adhesive, because can you see how this is gonna layer right on there? About like that, so I want my dimensional, because otherwise it'd be kind of crooked, right? So put a dimensional there so it's the same height as this that I had dimensionals under, or yeah, also. Okay, so now we are gonna add a few pearls to kind of finish things off a little bit on this card. So we're just kind of sprinkling them, I like to say, sprinkling them around on our card. So check that one out. Isn't that, oh my gosh, I just love it. So beautiful, right? And now I actually have more to show you guys. Usually I only do two cards, but I, like I said, I've had so much fun playing with this um, Tutti Frutti paper that I have more to show you guys. Okay, so those are the ones I'm going to show you later. What I did want to tell you guys about was um, how I kind of made, okay, look at, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, check these out. So here, we'll just kind of flip through these and then I'll tell you. So they're, they're simple, right? But in most cases, they use either a coordinating kind of top and bottom, or maybe it was even front and back. I know that's not the case with this one because this, the bananas had the yellow and white stripe on the other side. But these are those narrow note cards and they're the thick whisper white cardstock. So there's a cute one that says hello, okay. I've got another one. This one says for you. And then I've got this one that says missing you. And can you see all, I tried to find kind of coordinating ribbon too. So this one says, beautiful friend, you're just lovely. And these are all, every single one of these are patterns of designer series paper in the Tutti Frutti suite. So those two with that lemon lime, lemon lime twist, the ombre ribbon with a little stamp that says, yay. And then this one is, oh, hello friend. Aren't these so cute? A thank you card and then a hello card. So check those all out. Aren't they just so, oh my gosh. 
I had so much fun putting all these together, right? So I've got those for you. And then, can you see, I made coordinating. I love, so this is with the, I think it's the two, two inch circle punch. You guys maybe have seen that before, but I just love kind of putting the liners inside of the envelopes so that then they coordinate with all of the cards. Aren't those so, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm like playing like with a deck of cards, right? So maybe I, I should have told you guys about the ribbon too. So um, I'll do that real quick. This ribbon is the Shimmer Ribbon Combo Pack from Celebration, okay? Then we have, this is actually, um, what is this, Crushed Curry? This is the, um, it's not, is it not Herringbone, is that right? Um, Chevron, I think it's the Chevron ribbon, okay? And then this one is the, oh, it's either Pool Party or Soft Sky um, Classic Weave Ribbon. These two used that Lemon Lime Twist Ombre Ribbon. Those others, well, those two, those two right there are in the annual catalog, and then these are in the occasions catalog. Here's another one that uses more of the Shimmer Ribbon Combo Pack. That's the basic gray ribbon that comes here. And then there's also um, a Bermuda Bay, even skinnier, eighth inch wide. Those are Celebration. You get that pack of ribbon during Celebration. This is another classic weave. Actually, both of these are. This is Crumb Cake Classic Weave, kind of like this one is here with the, pretty sure that's Soft Sky, I think. I don't know. It's either that or Pool Party. And then here, this is featuring some of the Peekaboo Peach, that mini striped ribbon that is one of the retiring ribbons. And then I used on all of them, I used a little one inch circle punch for the sentiment and then the one and one eighth inch, I think that's what it is. Yeah, one and one eighth inch scallop circle punch. And then just added some rhinestones if I felt like it needed a little something else, right? Okay, so I've got those that I'm showing you and then I'm just gonna demonstrate just so you guys can see the sizes of things. I've got a couple more that I'm gonna actually demonstrate. And I will tell you guys too, um, let me see if I can find, let's see, let's see, where's a good, <clears throat> I was gonna try to show you guys the sentiments. Well, you know what, I can show you the sentiments. Oh yeah, this would work, right? So I used a bunch of sentiments from the Oh So Eclectic stamp set like the oh hello friend missing you and you're just lovely okay then i also used oh the thank you and the yay from the bubble over stamp set okay um the beautiful peacock i used that little beautiful friend stamp on one of them and oh eastern beauty this was another good one so you could use the hello the thank you and enjoy today those all fit perfectly inside that one inch circle these are some other good choices, the Wood Words stamps. You could use this, thank you. Um, thanks a bunch, for you, welcome. You could use any of those. Those all fit perfectly. And then, let's see, the Flourishing Phrases. I used just that hello, because that one is the right size. And I'm gonna show you in a sec how I, how I figured that out, okay? And then here's the For You from the Cake Soiree stamp set. Oh, Nikki says she loves the note cards and that they're all so cute. Thank you. I agree. They're so, they're just, I think because they're tiny, you know, anything tiny is really fun. Okay, so let me show you how I kind of figured out what um, stamps I wanted to use on those cards. So I'm trying to find the Eastern Beauty stamp is on page 19. Okay, so we're going to flip because I did not flag this. But this is how... I kind of, I basically flipped through the catalogs, and then when I found sentiments that I thought would fit, I had punched, can you see this is like just with a little scrap piece of paper? This is the one and one eighth inch scallop circle. Can you see that? That's that one right there, right? So I punched this just out of scrap paper, and then I flipped through the catalog, and I said, oh, okay, well that one would fit on that when you cover it up because you guys know that all of the stamps are actual size unless it says otherwise in the catalog. So that's an easy way you know like all of these are the size that they're showing in here, right? So that one worked, this little thank you worked, and even that little hello would work. And I think I used almost all three of those. 
So I just kind of kept flipping and flipping and I tried to find like a variety of sentiments so they didn't all say hello or thank you. Um, I had a few different ones in there too. But that's just an easy way, um, you know, to find sentiments that fit the punch. Just punch a, a scrap and kind of lay them on there and then you know whether they're going to fit or not. Okay, so kind of a, just a little a tip that I had for you guys because that's, you know, it's one of those... Whatever, however you can make things easy for yourself and others, I'd like to be able to do that for you guys. Okay, so let me show you the last couple, because I, <laughs> all right, we'll just do one at a time. I'm going to show you. So this is that my most favorite paper, that um, uh, watermelon paper, and then the Enjoy Today that was from that Eastern, Eastern Palace or Eastern Beauty. What was it? Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, Eastern Beauty stamp set. The Enjoy Today, okay? With some real red ink. Okay, so here we go. I've got my real red ink. I've got so much stuff on the table here. You cannot even believe it at this point. Um, I've got my Enjoy Today stamp. Let's see, do I have all my little parts and pieces? I think I do. Okay. So I've got one of my narrow note cards. You guys know that these measure, so a narrow note card measures, it's five by four and a half, okay? And then when you fold it in half, then it's still gonna measure the four and a half tall by two and a half wide, okay? So these two little pieces of designer series paper, where did they go? Oh my goodness. I had everything right here. Where is it? Now it's like hiding on me. Oh boy. Uh-oh. I know it's here. So, oh, I see it. Okay, here we go. I moved it so it wouldn't be all in the way and now I couldn't, then I couldn't find it. Okay. So these little pieces of designer series paper are the same size. So these are the two that I used, top and bottom. I think they're the same size. So this guy measures two and one quarter by two and one quarter. And then this one does as well. Yep, so I've got two pieces, two and a quarter by two and a quarter, okay? Now, kind of the trick, because I wanna put the ribbon on and then put these layers on the card. Does that make sense? So, where's my adhesive? I took my adhesive and I just kind of ran a little bit along there and then I took my card base and I laid that one there. Actually, I think I have to do it this way, because otherwise, okay, and I've got my sticky on there, okay? So I'm not actually putting this on here yet, but I'm trying to get the layering, you know, the dimensions so it looks good and even. Okay, so I've got that one there, and then I've got my sticky on the bottom, and then I'm gonna try to just line that up so that I've got, right, the same amount of kind of white cardstock showing around that, that one. Okay, so it's funny how it looked a little bit wider to me. Let's try there. Okay. Let me get it. Where's the sticky now? <laughs> oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, I didn't put too much on because I don't want it to stick to the card, right? There, that looks better. Okay, so I've got that. So this really is not that complicated, right? So I'm just trying to get those two layers together so that then I can put my ribbon kind of right around the two of them, right? So we're gonna put that on and wrap it around. We're gonna add our adhesive. I feel like maybe it moved a little bit. So let's see, we'll tap one side down and make sure it's gonna be straight, okay? And then we're gonna put the other one on, right? Okay, now, so now that I've got it kind of all put together, then I can add my adhesive and put this guy on, okay? <clears throat> So with our little bit of cardstock, or not cardstock, but our designer series paper, right? So we're putting that on there. And then I've got just a little bit. So this is what I was saying before, that I think this feels a little bit more like Island Indigo than Bermuda Bay. I think you could maybe go either way with this, but I chose Island Indigo to go behind my Enjoy Today stamp. So there's my little one and one eighth inch circle punch, okay? And then I'm going to stamp my Enjoy Today on just a little piece of Whisper White cardstock. So there's the Enjoy Today. Press straight down and straight up. I love that. That's another one of those cute cursive fonts that I love. Okay, now I need my one-inch circle punch. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna punch that guy out. All right, put some adhesive on him. Okay, and then layer him on that little one and one eighth inch circle punch. All right, put some more adhesive on here and pop him on there. And then I think, nope, I didn't even put some of them, because this has quite a bit going on already. So in some cases, I wanted to add a little bit of bling, but not in all of them. I didn't on that one, okay? So that's the basic idea behind these cute little um, note cards. I'm gonna show you, I was gonna demonstrate these, but you guys don't need to see me make any more of these. I think you get the idea. These pieces are two and a quarter inches, top and bottom. This is some of the black shimmer ribbon with that cute little thank you stamp from that bubble over stamp set and then a little rhinestone there. And then here's my last one with that, my most favorite um, paper with the strawberries and blueberries and the little blue and white speckledy. And then this is some of the lemon lime twist. Um, I think it's called a classic, mm, is that right? I can't remember, it's the, it's the in color ribbon. But I should mention that also, <coughs> excuse me, that the past couple of years, even though lemon lime twist is an in color that's not gonna retire, a lot of times the embellishments associated with the in colors retire because then they come out with more like new different embellishments. So if you love this ribbon, finely woven, that's it. Lemon lime twist, finely woven ribbon. And then it also comes, let's see if I'm gonna remember. So lemon lime twist, tranquil tide, powder pink, berry burst, and fresh fig. Those five colors. If you like that ribbon, those are other items that are potentially going to be on the retiring list. So order those sooner than later so you don't miss out on them if you like those. Okay? So aren't these, oh my gosh, these little three by three note cards. You've got enjoy today, you've got thank you, and you've got for you. <clears throat> so it's just super duper cute cards. Mm. I hope you enjoyed all of those cards today. Quick reminder, man, I got a lot of stuff around here, so sorry. If you put in your minimum $30 online order by next Wednesday at midnight, you are gonna get the projects. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send you these two cards, okay? And then I'm gonna pick two more bonus cards, these little three by three cards, right? So you're gonna get four cards, two big ones, and two kind of the little mini narrow note cards, right? if you put in your online order and then your name is going to go in the drawing to win the sweet soiree memories and more card pack right make sure you use the host code the new9dnvm and then also any order over fifty dollars for the next two days gets a free celebration choice and then always you will get a free embellishment from me Okay, so thank you so much for watching today. I hope you all have a fabulous Easter weekend and we will talk to you next Friday. Oh, and let me know if there's anything you guys want to hear about on the Facebook Live videos. Get, send me a message or post a comment and let me know. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye everybody.